Hey, BR10155 here. This is a video response to Shit It Sucks on uh, root, on rooting Android phones. You know, I find it kind of interesting that uh, you have to do that to get apps to work on those phones. Uh, as Android being an open source operating system, I would think that you would be able to pretty much do anything you want to do with it. And obviously, if you have root access and it being a Linux-based system, you would be able to do anything you want to with it. But uh, I don't know. That, that kind of equates to me, you know, Apple and their whole and, and having a and having a jailbreak iPhones to run unapproved, un-Apple-approved third-party apps on iPhone. That's, I don't know. It kind of you know, if you got to do something special on an Android to get it to do what you want to do with it, it seems to me like you might as well go buy an iPhone because you're going to have to do something special with the iPhone to get it to do what you want to do with it anyway. Kind of defeats the pur purpose of buying an Android. Because, let's face it, and, and show that sucks is absolutely right. Root is real powerful. And when you're logged in as root, you've got total control of the Linux system. And uh, and basically having to go that route to run apps, that's wrong. That but it's ooh, that's wrong. That 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 is something that needs to be addressed. And along those same lines. And I probably should have said this in my last video about what Linux is missing. Uh, that's one of my actually peeves with uh, Ubuntu. Is Ubuntu does not let does not give you root access out of the box. Uh, it, it root account is disabled, and there is such a strong pre, uh, prejudice against that in the Ubuntu community that if you go on their official message boards and try to tell someone how to log in as root the message gets sent to the bit button. The reasoning behind that is, is that you don't need root you've got sudo and you can use sudo to do anything that you administratively that you can do under the root account, uh, under the root account which is true to a point but if you're doing some hardcore system tweaking, system configuration, you got to be logged in as root to do it. You just there's there's really just no other way to do it. And oh by the way, it's sudo ch password root. That's how you enable the root account in Ubuntu. Don't tell anybody I told you how to do that. I'll lose my Ubuntu membership card. Anyway, I mean that that I don't know. There's just something about that whole concept that that annoys me. Uh, anyway, this is BR Tidwell 55. Thanks for watching.